Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and I got some sad news to report. This morning, Sunday, November 8th, uh, Fangoria has reported that Gunnar Hansen, the original Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, has passed away. Um, it's Sunday morning. I was sleeping in. Um, as I do most mornings, as most people probably do upon waking, I reach for my phone. And I don't have great cell phone reception out here, so as soon as I unlocked it, I just heard da ding da ding da ding da ding. I had like four social media messages or notifications come through simultaneously. And the very first one I read said, uh, R.I.P. Leatherface. The second one I read said, you know, so sad to hear about the passing of Gunnar Hansen. The third one said, you know, first Wes Craven, now Gunnar Hansen this year has really sucked. So I knew right then and there. Still foggy eyed from just having woke up, Gunnar Hansen has passed away. I jumped on Facebook and the very first thing I saw was the uh, Fangoria um, uh, update saying, you know, Gunnar Hansen's passed away. No news yet as to uh, the cause of his death, but Gunnar Hansen is gone. And um, yeah, it, it's, it sucks. It sucks. Um, it was odd that I got so many notifications from social media that, uh, about his passing away and people actually, you know, offering me condolences as if I was uh, a family member or a very, very close friend of Gunnar Hansen. But I think most of you guys know, you know, how much I love the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and what that film means to me, yada, yada, yada. And Gunnar Hansen is the definitive Leatherface, period. Um, you know, I, I always felt that what he did with that role, he brought so much to the character of Leatherface without any kind of dialogue, without with a mask on his face. He's never really gotten, I think, the props that he deserves for what he did uh, with that role uh, of, of Leatherface. Um, he was, um, Gunnar Hansen was the reason I went to my very first horror convention back in 2009. Uh, it was Scarefest 2009. There were a lot of other celebrities there, some that, you know, some people may say were, you know, bigger celebrities than Leatherface, but it, or Gunnar Hansen, I'm sorry, but Gunnar Hansen was the reason why I went to that convention. All the other celebrities were like, oh, that's great, but then when they booked Gunnar Hansen, it was like, okay, you're going. I had no idea what to expect. I went, I had a ball, um, I met a lot of celebrities, and then when it came time to meet Gunnar Hansen, I was a little, um... I was a little maybe starstruck, put it that way, just a little bit, um, but got to meet Gunnar Hansen. Um, I met him again uh, this year at Mad Monster Party in Charlotte, North Carolina, and if you never had the opportunity to meet uh, Gunnar Hansen, he was, without a doubt, a very, very affable and just highly, highly intelligent man. Um, I was standing at his table behind three kids. I'm guessing they look middle school, maybe freshman, sophomore. It's, it's hard to tell. Um, but they were talking to him about playing Leatherface. And I was just kind of, you know, cringing in, in anticipation for the question of what was it like working with Jessica Biel? Um, <laughs> you know, thinking that, you know, this is a 40 year old movie, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Here's some young kids, you know, do they know which leather face they're talking to? But then they brought up the hook, you know, and lifting the girl onto the hook. And, and Gunner explained how they did that. And <clears throat> they walked away and, and, and I walked up to the table and I, I, I talked to Gunner about, I was like, isn't that really cool how, you know, you know, kids are, you know, it's a 40 year old movie and, you know, kids are discovering it today. Those are some educated, uh, young horror fans. I felt very proud for the horror community that day. Um, and, um, you know, they, they didn't have money. They weren't buying anything. There I was standing behind them holding my poster. You know, he, he knew I was there. I was going to be a paying customer. And, you know, a lot of celebrities at these conventions would have, you know, said, oh, there's a paying customer and shooed those kids away, you know, you know, I, I got to move on. And he just sat there very politely, answered their questions, talked to them about the film. And that's all that they, you know, that's all that they wanted. And he was very cool about about doing that. A lot of other celebrities at conventions 
would not have done that to a pay to a non-paying customer. A lot of celebrities wouldn't do that to a paying customer. It's like you pay them and then they want to get you away as quickly as possible and they answer whatever questions that you may have with uh-huh or yeah, mm, no, you know, very uh uh you know, very laconic. But uh he was not like that. He was not like that at all. And um he paid me the greatest compliment that one could be could bestow upon me when he said, you would make a great leather face. That to me, I mean, etch that on my tombstone when I pass away <laughs> from Gunnar Hansen, you would make a great leather face. No, no higher honor could be bestowed upon me uh, than that. Um, but also just a really, really intelligent guy, a really smart guy. You know, the acting thing, I think, was something that he did more or less, um, you know, you want to pay me to be in your movie? Sure. Um, but, you know, he was into photography. He was a writer. Um, you know, you, you could tell within five minutes of talking, well, not even five seconds of talking to him, that this was a highly intelligent uh, individual. Um, yeah, it just... Um, it just sucks. Um, it sucks that Gunnar Hansen's passed away. The definitive uh, leather face in my book, as I'm sure in, in many people's books. Um, if you had the opportunity to meet uh, Gunnar Hansen, please let me know uh, about it in the comment section below. Um, please let me know what your what the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and what the leather face meant to you in the comments section below as well. Um, yeah, just um, just a really sad day, uh, and for all you guys out there who never got the chance to meet him, um, you know, it's too bad because, like I said, he was very, very affable and a uh, very highly intelligent uh, man. Um, I'll put a link to the video in the description of the Faces of Leather panel uh, with Gunnar Hansen and uh, Bill Johnson, and uh, so you guys can kind of... Uh, uh, really cool a panel discussion with those two guys um, and um, a lot of great stories from both of them particularly from Gunner um, and uh, yeah we're very very sad very very sad uh, very sad sucky news but um, anyway uh, as always thanks for watching I appreciate it take care and until next time peace